Fatty, fat, fat people. It looks like, Brian, it's you and me. And you know what? That's good enough for me. Just you and me. I will do this with you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Looks like, you know, everybody is all about, Oh, I need to lose weight. I'm fat. Uh, and that's all they ever do is talk about it. That's all they ever do. Comes time to say, all right, put up or shut up. Get your butt on a scale, make a video, put a video out here telling people what you eat every day. Uh, well, you know, look, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, well, you know, uh, you know, and they run, run for the hills. Glory be to God, but look, um, it's a struggle, it's a battle, it's a daily hurting thing. I mean, like I'm sitting here today, like, yeah, okay, here's what I ate yesterday. I had uh, two pieces of tilapia fish and fake eggs, like a really high protein breakfast. Um, after church, I had a bunch of smoked, leftover smoked ribs that we had done, and so I plate full of those. I had 11 Hershey's Kisses, I had a piece of low-fat cake. Then we went up to Magnolia, Mississippi. I had chips, a bunch of chips and salsa. I made uh, some fresh salsa. Um, I had one hamburger. I had two hot dogs. And on the hamburger, you know, I had like uh, coleslaw and tomato. And they weren't big hamburgers. They were they were they were baby they were baby hamburgers. Papa Louie, you know, he that's the way he does it. Um, baby hamburgers on big buns. Yeah. <laughs> buns buns. The hamburgers were out bunned. They were out bunned. Um, and had some potato salad that, that uh, my mother-in-law made. Um, what else did we have up there? Pie. Oh, we had pie. Yeah, had a piece of lemon meringue pie. Had a piece of 7-Up cake. Bunt cake kind of thing. Uh, chips and salsa when we got done swimming. Uh, came home, had a couple of them low fat cookies Caroline made, had a piece of, did we have cake? We had cake last yeah, night. Yeah. We had cake last night and I had some more Hershey's Kisses. So, you know, I mean, all in all, I, I have no idea what the calorie count is on that, but uh, I ate pretty good. So, but I mean, today and now I'm thinking like, you know, I'm going to eat. But then, then I realized that, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to cut back for you today, Brian, you know, and it's, and you know what, when I do that, um, and I know, you know, look, you're, you know, you're counting calories and portions and all that stuff, and glory be to God, and you got to find your own groove, you got, you got to find your way to do it that's going to stick, and, and for me, it was getting to the spot mentally where it wasn't like something that was going to end, you know what I mean, it's like, it's like, I kept praying to God, 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 take this from me, give, give me a way of dealing with this, it's not like, okay, you know, as soon as I get to this spot, I'm, I'm going to be done. Well, then what ends up happening, as soon as you're done, you go right back to where you were. You know, you balloon back up again. So it's not something that's done. It's something that God has to rewire our circuits, you know, to, to think differently about it and enjoy it. And I'm digging the, uh, the alligator kind of approach, you know, where, where I eat. And, and I don't deprive myself because I do love to eat. So, you know, but then, then when, you know... And then cutting back. We got uh, uh, our, our youth ministry project coming down this week. And, you know, we're going to do the New Orleans thing. And we're going to be eating all kinds of New Orleans food. And, man, I'm going to enjoy it, you know. We're going to have beignets and red beans and rice and catfish and alligator. And, uh, you know, po boy sand shrimp po' boy sandwiches, oysters, po' boys if he, he's into that kind of I mean, whatever, you know, we're doing the New Orleans food thing. Shrimp, you know, all that stuff. And I'm going to be doing it too. So, you know, the week after that will probably be, you know, major cutback. So while I have a chance, I'll trim it down. But anyways, God bless you for doing it, brother. And we're here for you. We love you. And once you start feeling that success, you know, you get under 300, get under 290, you know. And I'd suggest too writing it down on, on your refrigerator or a board or something you know, write it on a piece of paper. Write all those five-pound increments like I did. And when you hit it, write the date down, you know, and you'll see yourself moving down, tracking it, visual. For me, visuals help a whole lot. God bless you, brother. I love you. Hang in there. Have a great 4th of July on the 5th. And uh, we'll talk at you later. God bless you.